Hello, I am Joe McDonald and this is Big Mac's Battle Blog. So, work edition. So, I've just popped off to uh, another building that's uh, somewhere near where we work to make a little video. And uh, yeah, today, as you can see, I'm in my, I'm in my full kit. Uh, there's the knife. <coughs> That one of my donators made for me that I was too lazy to get up, get up and get out on the last video. And uh, yeah, and here's the armour that I bought for myself uh, with your donations and my wages. Uh, Osprey British armour with full Kevlar and, um, and MP aerospace plates, which are apparently like the best in the world, or they were when they came out anyway. And a nice light but good quality fast helmet i have checked it's not one of the chinese uh, fake paper ones by giving it a good stab um and it stood up to that so yeah so today's video is about um you guys mostly and money so uh i have decided to like rick does on his live streams to uh, rick the ukrainian great youtube channel you should follow him uh, to basically have a look through the PayPal um, and sort of write down all the people who've donated to me and give you some thanks. Um, so this is going to be basically the highest production value video I've ever made because I've actually done notes. <laughs> so normally I just ad lib everything. So uh, in order... Of thanks in no well in no particular order. Uh, here we go. I would like to thank uh, James L, Dixie Gilbert, Audic Bunnell, Manuel Winkleman, Andreas Weber, Garrett Shipper, Yuri Mazor, who's very generous, uh, five hundred uh, plus euros several times. Leon Lejungren. I'm probably pronouncing these names wrong. By the way, you'll have to forgive me. Another five hundred uh, donator. Uh, Angela Ferguson and Amanda Grubb, who are both regular donators. Christian Hahn, Rifat Sultana, who's another regular. Simon Semler, Paul Fedroko. Um, I can't read my own handwriting there. Um, not an expert, who gave a very generous donation of a thousand uh, euros thereabouts. David Hooper. Tony Sheehan, who's a regular, good Irish boy there. James Lee, uh, John Mackey, as uh, a 300, or Mackey, who gave me 300 bucks. Ernst Asker, North Star Farms, who were regulars, thank you very much. Uh, Helena Olmark, who's a regular. David Pro Pro Pedler, David Pedler. Daniela Lacou, uh, Darius Gr G Gidratis, who a, was a hundred bucks. James Lee, Maximilian Bindak, who was another hundred bucks. Dominic Fistak, Pazzi Polini, Poli, Pazzi Poli, Polinian, um, sorry, again, pronouncing foreign names, uh, but thank you. Uh, Kathy Summer, Andreas Lax, who's a regular. Robert Fry, Ashdown Mechanicals, um, I think they're from Bristol and some mates of mine, I may be wrong, but thank you. Um, Hans Todderborn, 100 bucks. Raul Perez, who is a mate of mine um, and a regular donator. Uh, biggest donation was 300, thank you very much, Raul. Um, Andre a Sophie, who's a blind guy from Romania, who's who must listen, use me like radio. Thank you very much, Andre. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope you uh, continue to enjoy listening to my words. Uh, Duncan D. Leo, very posh name. Um, Lyle Henry, hundred bucks. John O'Roch, hundred bucks. Bauk Shoemakers, hundred bucks. Uh, Wee Lou. Uh, Wei Lu, um, who's a, a regular. I just want to start with that. I've noticed I've got a quite a high percentage of uh, people from from Asia who donate to me. 
Uh, so, or at least with Asian names. So, thank you very much. Um, Paula Harkonnen of the Harkonnen dynasty from Dune. Thank you, Paula. It's a pretty evil family you're from, but uh, you are a regular donator, so thank you. No, uh, uh, have I done North Star Farms already? Oh, North Star Farms again, because they, they they are very regular with the donations. Um, Hans Todderborn, 100 books, also a regular. The Kerosene King, thank you, Your Majesty. Um, Pierce Kinch, Cheryl Watley. Uh, Stoyan from Bulgaria, very generous uh, donation, 500 bucks. Rachel Falzone, Graham Hunt, uh, 600 bucks, very donatious. Uh, d donatious? That's a, that's a great new word. Donatious. A mix of donation and delicious, okay? Uh, Wei Yuan Shin, 100 bucks. Christian Schuffelheis. Anthony... I've screwed up your last name. We Wheaton, we um, Anthony W, 100 bucks. Deborah Savage, another regular. Anglander Moon, another regular. Peter Brewers, very uh, generous donation, uh, more than once. Uh, and Gwendolyn Holman, 200 bucks. Thank you all. Now, I know there are more people who've donated to me since I started the channel. Um, but uh, PayPal is is not the it's good at sending money and it's not good at much else um i want to say by the way like a lot of you guys when you donate you write me little messages and if you if you go back into your own paypal and like try and read what you've written you, you basically can't you know there's something up with that aspect of how the app works so i, I spent like half an hour trying to scroll back through and, and just of its own accord the little spitty computer be thinking circle starts and then it just goes back to the the most recent donator on the list so it's a it's a fucking nightmare to use for that so if i haven't replied to any of your messages on paypal i'm really sorry because it's just like if if i do anything more than than a sort of or anything more than just saying thanks, I can't read. And if you write anything longer than like five words, I can't read it. So I'm really sorry that I haven't got back to you on that. Um, I know it's I know it's ignorant, and I really really do appreciate all the all the effort you guys are putting. And I, I did you know mention the bigger donators and, and the amounts there, but I am really really appreciative of of the people of of everyone even if it's literally a fiver, you know, I know exactly what it's like to be poor. And, um, yeah, you know, I am very, very grateful. So moving on now today, we're going to be smoking. Hopefully if my lighter works, we're going to be smoking some Asbo black, fine Danish pipe tobacco. That I bought for myself when I was in Kiev. Come on, you bastard. That's not smoke, that's just thing. <sighs> so anyway, thank you ever so much to all of the donators. Um... <clears throat> What have I spent your money on? Well, notes. I, I've, I've prepared for this one. Well, as you can see, and we're, uh, by, by the way, so, some of what I've bought and where the line between my wages and your donations start, I'm not exactly sure. It's not like I've kept meticulous accounts for all of this. But basically, you know, as you can see, I'm wearing a nice armor and a nice helmet. Together that set me back about about eighteen hundred euros, pounds, whatever. Um, I bought a strand dryer uh, for carbon fiber strands from three D printers for a Ukrainian drone maker called Nebesnikara. I've spent about four thousand euros on FPV drones and batteries and antennas and controllers and stuff like that that go with them so far. Spent about five thousand 
on the RAT fixed wing drones that some of you would have seen that are now being used by someone up in Brigade um, to great effect, I'm told. So that's good. Uh, I got one Mavic uh, drone I bought, which was 3000 to replace one that got shot down. Spent about 500 bucks on cars and tools that we got for Blau, for, we got from that Swedish charity, Blauke Billen. <laughs> Um, probably spent another 500 bucks on just secure, uh, storage boxes because keeping all our electronics dry and secure, um, so, you know, we can drive very fast over bumpy roads without everything getting, uh, buggered up and then, you know, go and work in freezing cold, bombed out buildings that leak uh, without everything getting destroyed by moisture and mud and filth is really important. And also make sure you know where all your stuff is. Everything's compartmentalised. So, yeah, boxes, important stuff. Um, Mavic batteries, another 500 or so. I think more like, a, actually, I bought two sorts of more like a 1,000. Optics for rifles, plus like flashlights for rifles uh, and stuff like that. I've probably dropped about 2,000 on them. Tripods, uh, probably about 400 bucks. Um, Alien Tech signal boosters to increase the cap capabilities of our Mavic drones, DJI Mavics and stuff. That was uh, another 700 bucks. A uh, set of binoculars uh, with a built-in compass, like high-grade military ones, um, like Finnish, Finnish Army uses, same brand. Uh, they were 350 bucks. Um, some wood burners, well, they were free, but I decided to give about 150 euros to the people who make them um, because I respected what they're doing, and I know they're running on a poverty budget. And uh, they, they're now keeping our infantry warm down on one of their positions. And, uh, but they, they've also uh, got those guys to start making uh, mounts for PKM machine guns so we can um, basically use them for uh, AA purposes and also mount them on vehicles and boats and stuff like that. And that is something that's going to help the Ukrainian military as a whole. Because uh, air defence, especially in this winter period, is very important. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's fucking really difficult to hold a big heavy machine gun up at a 45 degree angle. And don't message me saying you should just get your mate to stand in front of you and put it, put it on his shoulder. That's some bullshit from Second World War manuals. Um, so yeah, the, that team of blacksmiths uh, who, who I sort of made a video about and if anyone would like to volunteer in Ukraine and go and help those blacksmiths, if you look back through my videos, uh, there's one called Hot Water Bottles and Blacksmiths and there's a link to them there. Um, <coughs> where are we at? Uh, and yeah, winter clothing, I bought a load of, I should have grabbed one, I've got them in the other room, but I, I bought a load of like, you know, good quality gloves. And uh, these hand warmer muffs and Zippo uh, hand warmers and stuff. Um, some artillery just went off then. It's like I'm about, I'm about to hear a whistle and a crack. We'll soon find out. Exciting, isn't it? Um, and yeah, com tablets, uh, which we use for like the military mapping system. I bought a couple of them. They were about five, 400 bucks each because high quality ones. So I got them. And yeah, and then a load of sundry things like fuel, um, bits and pieces like that, you know. So yeah, that's sort of an idea of where your money and what I spend my wages on has been going. So, so yeah. Oh, and I also, basically, I've spent, I've just got, uh, there's an English guy I know who I've been speaking to for months and months, and I trust very much so. And he is coming to Ukraine to sign up and he's going to be helping a uh, brigade up north um, fly FPV drones and also make them because he's been doing that for a long time. 
and I have got him to purchase me a 4x4 in England that he'll be driving over here. And uh, yeah, it's a Mitsubishi Shogun 1994, back before they started putting fucking computers in the cars. Uh, that that f- that yeah, computers is the is the worst enemy of a of a four by four in the combat zone because it'll just suddenly decide that something's wrong and there's nothing wrong with the car, and then it'll 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 buggy your car up way more. So yeah, I've got my own motor coming over here. And of course, you know, while I am going to own it, uh, that is going to be um, that is going to be a, uh, a you know used by me to go to work and, and stuff every day. But it's also going to give me the freedom to move around a bit more on my own and uh, basically be able to achieve more. Um, you know, go to Mikkel, I have to meet up with the people who are using um, AI to detect landmines, which is something I'm very keen to incorporate with our drone work. And, um, you know, little things like allow me to uh, go to the military shop and buy some bits and pieces on my day off, as opposed to having to get taxis from suspicious <laughs> suspicious, probably pro-Russian taxi drivers, which I don't like doing too much. So, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, Right now, financially, I am fucking broke. Um, The most broke I've been in a long time. I have got about 3,000 grivners in my bank, which is less than £100. And um, pay hasn't come in this month, which is normal. You know, they say you get paid on the 10th and 25th, and it can be anywhere in a sort of five-day pattern around those two dates either side so yeah um but uh getting getting some more money together whether it's from my wages or donations soon is good because obviously the car uh, needs insurance and um you know we we need fuel to get over and i'd like to have five uh you know a set of winter tires come over with it and a good toolkit and a good jack and jerry cans and bungees and tow ropes and fuel filter, air filter, cam belt, timing belt, spark plugs, bulbs, fuses, everything. Because if you've ever had a car breakdown, you know, at the side of a busy road with fucking lorries whistling past your fucking head while you change your tyre at 70 mile an hour, it gives you some idea of just how frightening and anxious it makes you to have to change a a tyre when you're in an area that gets fucking mortared regularly and is under under enemy observation. So, yeah, you don't want to be fucking around with with the jack that they give you with the little sort of scissor scissor type jack that they give you with uh with every car you want a big hydraulic pump jack that will get that thing up in 10 seconds and you want a great big socket bar to take the wheels off and get a new one on you know you you want to change a car at a speed change a tire at a speed that would make a formula one team jealous when you're in the combat zone and um you don't want to you don't want to have your car break down on you just because you're waiting on a spur part to come over from Europe that'll be here in six to eight weeks. So, yeah, so that's where your money's been going and what I've been spending it on and how I'm using it. And um, now the next project, basically, is uh, there's a really big FPV. Some of you saw in a community post, uh, a smaller one than that with a nine inch. It's got an RPG 22. But I'm having an FPV drone built that's uh, got night capabilities. uh, So the camera for that was expensive. You know, I had to drop. Yeah, camera for that is expensive. And the the drone that's doing that is about four times the size of the one you saw. Um, And that should be able to fire up to three RPG-22s from it. So that is going to be our tank hunter, basically. Um, so yeah, um, that's, that's, that's what I've been on. So anyway, um, 
all about the money, all about you guys, and now I am going to finish this video and get back to work. So, anyway, uh, it's goodbye from me, Joe McDonald, at Big Mac's Battle Blog, and as always, to our Russian and Vatnik listeners, Idina Hoyzalupa.